first question is, uh, can you tell me, tell us a little bit about your background? Okay, before I start, I would like to say thanks for inviting me here okay, to be interviewed. It's a pleasure for me for to be chosen by you all. Lah, okay? So, I'm really glad to be here to be sharing with you all what I've experienced before. So, basically, a bit, a little bit about my background. So, generally, I'm from Malacca. I was born in Malacca, I was raised up in Malacca. Since small. <laughs> okay? And I continue my study. I started my study in Malacca. So, through high school. So, after that, after high school, so I went for diploma in science in Universiti Pendidikan Sanjis here and after my diploma about 3 years I continue for my degree in sports science coaching in UPSI also mm -hmm. so after that after my degree life around 3 and a half years I decided to continue for my master that is what I'm doing now uh, currently just enroll for my master studies okay, so I'm a mixed kid Okay, my father is Chinese and my mother is Indian or Chinese. Okay, so basically, I'm Chinese. I don't know how to say it. It's Rojak already. Okay, then I'm a mix. Thank you for your uh, shape, uh, your background. And second question, uh, may you share it about your leadership experience in UPSI? Okay, my leadership experience with see. Mm. Okay, so basically what I did first in my early year of my degree life is I started to active in uh, the sports science Satuan Sains Sukan Kejuruteraan, the sports science uh, student councils lah, okay? Mm. For the faculty. And after that, I began involving I continue involving with my athletics club as usual. And I also start involving with the student college council, okay, for college in Goma. So basically, at first, for the first time, I think semester two, semester three, uh, this three thing I started as normal at school. Okay, I tried to enter, I tried to do the job, I tried to get to know the, how I say, get to know the group, the people how the society works, how the club works, you know. So basically after one semester or two semesters, okay. After two semesters, I know them. I learn a lot of things, a lot of skills. And I show my worthiness inside that, throughout that period. And another same come. I was selected as a president for the sports science uh, society for my faculty. Okay, next. Um, time management is quite challenging. Right. Okay, since you participate in sport and this athlete, right? How do you manage your time in academic and other important stuff? Time management. Yeah. Wow, this is something that we as a student mm. 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 We need to manage <laughs> well. It's really hard. Okay, yeah. for me, uh, I won't say that it's easy. I would be lying if I say that time management is easy. I would be lying if I say that it's easy. It's really hard in since uh, I, I've been dealing with a lot of things. Okay. I've been dealing with three three societies, three clubs, so and also my studies. Okay. But there is a priority in what I do. And I set my priorities first and I know what I need to do, what I need to settle first according to the priority that I put down. So my priority is why I enter to UPSI. Same as you all, I want to study. Yeah. My academic is first. Yeah. So Cheaper. I put my academic first in the list. So whatever I do, I would like settle on my assignments or anything regarding with my academic things first. I would definitely settle all that first. Then only I will go to my society or my club uh, program or like meetings, you know. Yeah. Uh, meetings after that, report doing all the programs, then only I go into that. So, time management is really important. Okay, next question is, uh, what are the challenges that you face in OC? Such as the one that changed you to be a better person. Okay, 
lot of challenges. I faced a lot of challenges throughout my degree studies, okay? And a lot of the challenges uh, revolved around me becoming the leader for some cloud or society, okay? So whenever you are holding a position, whenever you are you have the authority, people, some will like you, some will uh, be with you just for the sake of the benefit that they get and some will uh, be against you, okay? So that's when your creativity of winning the heart of the people under you takes place. And that's how I learn how to deal with people. Dealing with people is a management issue also. I mean like, it's a learning process every day. Okay, so whenever some will be uh, listening to what you do, listening to what you ask them to do, but they won't do it or they will talk bad about you behind. Another, another challenge that I faced that I think had put me down before, so it's like, uh, when I heard people talk about me, uh, I faced that and sometimes when I think about it again, I feel down like, uh, why are they talking about me when what I do is benefiting them? It's like, when they get, they get the things, they get the benefit of what I'm doing, but they're talking about me. When, when truth to be told, sometimes I do all the things uh, my own self also. But, they're talking me, but, but human mouth can't be shut down. Can't be shut down. Okay, for the next question, uh, may I know who is your role model and what is uh, your life motto and vision? Ooh, that's a deep question. <laughs> uh, who's my role model? Not in life, uh. in university, I would say that my role model would be my own lecturer, uh, that is Dr. Ali and Dr. Ikon. Because these two is the person that inspire me to be who I am today. The person who pushed me through to show what I'm capable to do. Uh. Okay, this two person is the one that make me to be who I am today. They give me the opportunities. They push me and they taught me to be a better person in academics and also in research. And I learn a lot through them. Because when I see them, they are like, okay, they are the lecturers in MC, but they are also someone big outside there. People recognize them. People recognize their name. And their name bring like some powers around them. You know, when I see that, I'm just like, can I be like them? How? Why they are like so, you know, like so wow for me, you know? It's like, so I want to be like them. So I would say that this two would be my role model. Okay. My role model in life. I don't need to go far, like for example, those athletes, the world class athletes or the world class singers or whatever, their life stories, but they are the person that are very near with me. Okay, Kevin, can I know about your hopes and feelings towards uh, in this university? My feelings and hopes. Okay, my feelings towards this university since uh, I've been here since 2011 and it's 2019 now. O only one word I can say I love you guys. Like, so for some wow. of them, like, okay. for some of them, this may be like one stop study place for them. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. I Seriously, it's like, uh, I could say that this is my second hometown because I've been here like for a very long time and I love the environment here. I'm the type of person that I don't like busy, busy states, you know, I mean like busy, busy states, uh, okay, busy places. Like for example, in my, back in my hometown in Melaka, so it's becoming busier and busier the time I go back. Mm -hmm. So the only place that I think I'm very comfortable of is a place that, like this kind of Tanjung Malim where it's near with a place that you can get fun. You can get all the fun you want. If you want to go shopping, you can go KL, Rawang, or Ipoh. And if you want some quiet place, nature, you can just come to Tanjung Malin. We have everything here, you know. We have nature, we have all those Fresh shop air. around. <laughs> <laughs> so, I love this place and I love you guys. I love you guys because I've been studying here for so long and I've been getting a lot of knowledge from here. And uh, my hope is that EPSI will be well known among Malaysian uh, and also overseas for a very good reason in education, in knowledge. Okay. Uh, the next question is, uh, can you uh, share for us about your research about master study? 
Oh, okay, currently I'm doing my master study in mode A for research, and it's about biomechanics studies, biomechanics in, in specific biomechanics in snatch. I'm doing uh, biomechanical analysis of uh, between interrepetition, the time, the resting time between repetition. I would say how different resting time between, between repetition, not sets, but between repetition will influence the kinematic of snatch. So my next question is, do you have plan to pursue your study in Asia? So currently I'm doing a master, so uh, I've already been planning where I want to study for my PhD. I, uh, it's in my list and it's what I will do. Okay. I already planned for my studies in PhD, and I wanted, and I want to do it overseas if can. What country do you want to have on your list? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, for now, it will be Liverpool Joint Mall Initiative so because uh, what I'm doing here is biomechanics, and the strength that they have there in UK for biomechanics uh, is is top of the class. So basically. If I'm able to go there, obviously I will bring some changes here in terms of biomechanics, sports biomechanics, okay? Because what they have there, what the expertise in that area they have there is like uh, probably more than what we have here in Asia. So I would love to go there and bring that knowledge back and apply it here. Last question is uh, can you tell me about the National Award that you won in 2018 and what do you feel? Okay, uh, that national award was like the big success stories in my life, in my degree life. Okay, so basically, it's the national Anugrah Toko Siswa Kemasan for leadership. Okay, for 2018. So it was a very long process for me to be able to win that. So I've gone through like a lot of interviews and also a lot of uh, process in making the report to send to the KPM and I feel really proud of it. I'm really proud of it because it took me like what I said just now like you, you read what you saw. Okay? So uh, after all that I've done for my society of all the programs that I did together with my team that award is the final outcome, is the final appreciation by the national by the KPM for us. Okay, this is not the win. The I mean, the what is not for me alone. It's for my team. It's for my uh, faculties of sports science student councils because I did that program with them, and because of them, I win that anugerah to come to this uh, national. To wrap this up, uh, I will be doing my thing to say thank you for being your time. Answering all the questions, and we get to know a lot about you. So, thanks a lot from us. Yeah. Thank really, thanks for calling me here, and I'm really happy to be sharing all this with you. Thanks.